Hello everybody, HCT788 here, and this is an unboxing and assembly of a G.I. Joe vehicle, the Dino Hunters set. It is more of an assembly than an unboxing. The box was already open, but it does have some sealed contents, and I need to find out if it is complete uh, because I intend to review this pretty soon. Uh, so we're going to open the sealed vehicle, uh, and we are going to put it together. Uh, the dinosaur is in here as well. Uh, the action figures are in here. They were not sealed, uh, but it does have some sealed content. And uh, yes, I'm very interested in reviewing this. And we got to open it and put it together to do that. Uh, this is a, this box has seen better days. As you can see, it's pretty badly damaged, but it does have the file cards on the back. For me, that's the important thing. I need the file cards. Um, but it's, it should be all here. Uh, it will be tempting for me to review this as I'm assembling it. It'll be hard to not comment on it, but I will try to save my comments for the actual review. Uh, but let's put this thing together and uh, see if it's all here. I have the tools that I will likely need uh, to, to assemble this vehicle. Um, one thing I will not be able to do, at least I don't think so, is put the stickers on. It does include the sticker sheets, but the stickers are all dried out. Uh, the glue is completely gone. Uh, so I will need to restore those and put those on at a later time. But that's too bad because one of my favorite things about these assemblies is putting on the stickers. So uh, let's pull this out and see what we've got. Um, it does have the cardboard insert, but as you can see, this is like water damaged. It's all warped and the, the interior um, cardboard tray is also warped. So I'm going to move this and um, we have right off the bat the assembly instructions so that'll be helpful. Uh, this is of course based on the G.I. Joe Desert Fox uh, but I'm going to withhold comments all right it's going to be really tempting to comment on this thing I mean I mean look at this uh, but uh, let's let's do this let's do it properly um, I know that some folks will be upset that I am opening a sealed example of this, but um, I, I understand the, the objection to that. I do. There are still plenty of sealed examples of this set if you would like to get, uh, get one. Uh, but what I can't do by leaving it sealed is show you what all is in it. So by opening it once here in front of the camera, I am for posterity, you know, showing all of the contents and how they were put together. So uh, that's my justification anyway. Uh, at any rate, I need this to review and I need it to be put together. So we're going to do that. Um, assembly instructions, tools. Uh, this, um, obviously, this is not a factory sealed bag. This includes the... Um, the figures, low light, and and ambush. Uh, unfortunately, pretty much every part of this set is rare. Um, here are the accessories trees. I'm not going to take those off. Um, and yeah, see, like the the sticker sheet is here, but you can see a lot of the stickers have fallen off because they're totally dried out. Um, when I got it, some of the stickers were just, like, loose in the box. Um, and I think I, I got them all together. Um, but um, this stuff is going to go to the side. I'm going to save this for an eventual review. And we are going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on assembling the vehicle. Um, and we're going to go ahead and take the dinosaur out of his uh, plastic prison. So, here we go. Uh, let's move this, and I'm moving the tray out of the way. Hopefully I've got a good camera angle for you guys. Uh, the assembly instructions are pretty easy. Um, and if you have a G.I. Joe Desert Fox, I think you pretty much know what to expect. Uh, so let's do this. I'm going to do the thing that everyone is dread dreading, 
Let's just go ahead and get it out of the way, okay? Let's let's. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Let's um, make this formerly formerly sealed uh, GI Joe Dino Hunter vehicle unsealed. Um, I will. I do keep all the packaging whenever I do this. Like I will keep the plastic bag. You know. I mean, you never know. For, for historical purposes, I may want to see, like, the text and stuff that's on the plastic. So, I do keep all of that. I don't throw any of it out. Um, but, um, we, we're, we're doing this. And I just did it. I just did it, didn't I? Uh, so, I'm gonna slice through this. This knife is getting dull, man. This knife has served me well for a long time, but it is getting quite dull right now. That's really unfortunate. And I have to sharpen this thing. Okay, so we have a gash in the bag. We've got some vehicle parts there. Looks like the uh, grapple hook firing mechanism. Uh, again, I will have to be, uh, I will do my best to not comment on this vehicle because there is so much to say. Uh, I've done some research on this thing uh, in preparation for an upcoming review, so there's a lot that I could say about it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. Oh, it's so tempting though. All right, let's uh, let's pull this out. This is the main body of the vehicle and the wheels. And there is this cardboard insert kind of holding things together. There's the wheel number six. There uh, are the missiles. For a proper review, I would have the Desert Fox out here to show you a side-by-side, -side, but we are not doing a review. We are just doing an assembly. So let's do this. There we go. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to keep that. I do not throw any of this out. None of it is junk. Every piece of this is a part of history. None of it is junk. So we keep it all. Um, this is a sealed part. I'll, I'll just hold off on that until I actually need it. Um, I've got... One, two, three, four, five wheels. That's odd. Uh, where is wheel number six? Uh, wheel number six, is it in here? If we are short a wheel, then uh, we know that it's not complete, huh? Oh, oh, here we go. There we go. See, I just opened it from the factory sealed bag, so it better have all the wheels. Okay, so it's kind of uh, clicked together a little bit already. Uh, but it's not supposed to be. So I'm going to try to not break it and not strain the plastic. But I need to put the axle uh, right in here. So let's first cut the axle off of the frame. Uh, that is this part. I'm going to use my nippers. Nip. And... Nip. Oh, one more nip. There we go. Oh, that didn't cut all the way through. Come on. There we go. All right. Axle. Uh, the axle needs to be straightened out. And it goes, let's see. This direction, okay. Uh, holes go this way. All right, so there are a couple holes in the lower part of the body. This is not wanting to come loose and I really, really want to be careful with it. So I am going to try to do this without disturbing or stressing it since apparently inside the package, it kind of got mashed down and the back part has uh, clipped on there before we were ready. So the axle goes a little something like this. There are these pegs here and the axle goes, the hole on, holes on the axle go into the pegs. If I can pay attention to what I'm doing, let's see. Difficult to see at this angle. Okay, there's one peg. Uh, let's see. Come on. Uh, 
Oh, almost got it. The, the front wheels do turn, so that's why we've got to have this axle in there. They, they don't just clip on. Um, they, the front wheels will turn. There we go. Axle is on. Um, and uh, step two is to fit the upper body uh, onto the brown lower body. So let's just do that. This should now line up and snap on. Um, sort of. There's a clip right there, and it's having a hard... This clip right here is having a hard time... Well, actually, it's lining up pretty good. Actually, if I look from under here... Uh, from the top, it doesn't look like it's lining up very well, but from the bottom, I can actually see that that is working fine. So, let's see. Is that, is that on? Um, let's see. This needs to press down until those click together. So the front end needs to, there we go, there we go. We have two assembled vehicle halves. Top and half, oh, top and bottom half are together. Next step is the, the dashboard and the steering wheel. Let's clip those. Steering wheel, dashboard. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, the dashboard, according to our assembly instructions, how does that go in? Uh, that's the side for the steering wheel, so it has to go this way. Um, okay, so there, there are these two tabs um, kind of on the top front body of the vehicle those fit into these notches on the dashboard uh, and it looks like that's just how it fits in it ju you just press that in right yeah so yeah oh that was easy that was easy oh that was incredibly easy hey something was easy uh let's mark the date mark the calendar something was easy so there's that uh, let's see. Just trying to make sure it's on solidly. It's as solid as it'll get anyway. Steering wheel. The steering wheel is keyed, so it will only fit one way. It will only fit this way into that little hole right there. So we have a steering wheel, like so. So there we go. Dashboard and steering wheel. Next, uh, the wheels. So, um, yeah, we basically snap six wheels into place. So, front wheels go on this front axle that we just put in there. Uh, and uh, they have mushroom clips, so you just basic, basically press them on until they click firmly. And... Come on now. Now look here, you got to cooperate with me. The other one went on just fine. Uh, all the wheels should be exactly the same, so it should not matter which one I put on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, let's see, this one has decided it's just going to be a little bit tight, huh? Okay. Alright, that's making me nervous, man. We cannot break this body. And this wheel, this wheel is just too tight. Let me see if it's the only one like that. So far. Okay. If you're wondering if, um, it makes me nervous to do this with the very old and very expensive plastic. Yes, yes it does. But we are going to press on, so to speak. All right, something is wrong with this one. Something is wrong with this one. I gotta carefully remove it. This one is not going on. It's not snapping on like the others. There's something up with it uh, and it just came out of the sealed 
box, so there should be nothing up with it. So what's what's up? Um, it should be quite simple. Um, yeah, that really should work. So let's let's try one more time carefully, and press, and. Yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not snapping on. Yeah, okay, I can't, I'm going to pause for a second and take a closer look at this wheel and see what the heck I can do with it. So, pausing the video just for a second, I'll be right back. And we're back, and I was able to get this back wheel on with a little coaxing, but it is still tighter than the other wheels. Like, look at these other wheels. They spin... These other wheels roll, uh, but this one back one is very tight. So we're just going to be very cautious with that. We won't play around with it too much, but it is on. It did go on safely and without breaking, thank goodness. Okay, uh, next step. Uh, step number five is the gun assembly. Now we will need to open this. Now, if you have seen some of my other videos, you may recognize this grapple hook launcher because it is a figure accessory. It is a Flak Viper figure accessory. Look familiar? Uh, and these are also figure accessories. Again, I really should... I'm going to save it for the review, but these are reused from action figures. So uh, we need to put the turret on. It's similar, similar to the original Desert Fox turret, but um, instead of the machine gun, it has this cutout here uh, so that it will fit this. And it looks like it just goes, yeah, like this. Um, the holes go on the, in the pegs. Yeah, that was easy. So there's that. And this goes in there. And I, if I remember from uh, the Desert Fox, you just kind of, yeah, work it in and voila, it's, it's in. And it's got these, oops, it's got these teeth at the bottom. My steering wheel fell out. I'll have to do something about that now. Uh, let's, uh, let's get the steering wheel on, in a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there we go. Steering wheel is in there solidly. Uh, let's see. Now this, if you are so inclined, you can place the uh, grapple hooks in the launcher, if I can get them turned the right way. Uh, that way. Uh, okay, careful now. I am really trying to exercise caution with this... Uh, incredibly expensive old thing so let's uh pop those in notch side up there we go and then of course those will really fire with the triggers right come on uh come on uh fire for me there we go cool those will really fire now we need to put Let's see, the next step is the, um, the, the roll bars. Uh, let's wear my nippers. Let's uh, clip the roll bars off. I'm trying to get a good camera angle for you guys so you can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, but if you've ever assembled a Desert Fox, then uh, all of this looks very familiar because there's basically nothing new. So far, the only thing different is this bit right here. Oh, that didn't cut well. There we go. All right, so roll bar, and then the piece that goes between them is right here. Keep these organized a little bit. Okay. This piece with the, um, oh, that's interesting. Looks like it has a little, little bit of flashing on the, uh, 
on this headlight. I'm not sure if I should clip that off or not. Um, it's not supposed to be there. Um, I'll, I'll leave it for now and I'll decide later. So these pieces assemble like this. That should peg in firmly. There we go. And then this one goes like this. Peg in firmly. Yeah, press it all the way. And now this roll cage bar thingy uh, goes in these slots. So we've got slots in the front, slots in the back. And they go in like Flynn. Okay. Uh, so let's gently press these in. I know that it's a little bit of a challenge. Fortunately, the plastic of the roll bar is a little softer. Um, so it'll flex a little bit. The plastic of the body uh, doesn't flex very much. So we need to be careful about that. Um, if we're going to flex anything, we've got to flex the roll bar and not the body. Uh, and we've just about got it. Just about got it. It's just this side. This side went in just fine. This side needs a little coaxing, but you know, I think we about got that one too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got our turning front wheels. Um, sort of. <laughs> they, they turn some. Uh, we've got a roll cage. Next is the antenna. We need the antenna. That is right here. The antenna, of course, is a frequently missing part on all G.I. Joe vehicles that come with antennae. So let's... Uh, Let's nip it. Nip it good. Um, looks very similar. Basically the same antenna that came with the Desert Fox. So let's... Um, it goes here on the rear bumper. Um, I think it's not really keyed, so I think I can put it in basically any way. Just kind of wedge it in. Like so. And there we go. So we have antenna. And we basically have an assembled vehicle. I guess we need to put the missiles on. Let's put the missiles on. Can't forget that. Um, these are the same missiles as the Desert Fox, just in a different color. You can see they are bright. Bright, kind of, it, well, they sort of greenish yellow. They may look more yellow on the camera, but there is a slight green tint to them. And they are, they are neon bright. Neon bright. Look at that. Um, uh, you know, so the dinosaurs can see them coming. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so that's basically it. The rest uh, is the sticker sheet, which, again, I can't really do because those stickers are wrecked. So there's your vehicle. Let me put the, put the grappling hooks back in. Notch side up, like so. Yes, notch side up. There we go. So you, uh, grapple hook on the turret, uh, and we've got some elevation, and of course that rotates. So there is a complete assembled, um, I guess you call this the Dino Hunter. I think this is supposed to be the Dino Hunter of the Dino Hunter set. Uh, but you may just refer to this as the Dino Hunter Desert Fox because it is the Desert Fox, mainly just with a color swap and with a new turret. Uh, so now, uh, you thought that was fun. Uh, we're, we're not done with the fun yet because we need to open this thing. Uh, the dinosaur, the terrifying beast that uh, the Dino Hunters must Dino Hunt. So... Uh, yeah, here we go. Opening factory seal bag. There we go. And we are going to take this guy out. Uh, uh, like I said, every part of this set is rare and expensive. That doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's rare and expensive. Don't equate rare and expensive with good. Um, but here we go. 
Again, we keep all of these. Nothing gets thrown away. Even this cardboard insert that is holding the uh, dyno together uh, is... There we go. Is going to be kept. So there's that. So there we go. For historical po purposes, for posterity, here we have the the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the dangerous dinosaur to be hunted by our dino hunters. So there you have it. Uh, it is. Man, I really want to talk about this. I, I guess that's why I'm so eager to do a review of it, because I, I want to talk about this. There's so much to say. And I know you'll think that I'm probably going to have a lot of negative things to say about it, and you're probably right. But I think there's an interesting story behind this. There is more history uh, to this thing than you might think. And let's talk about it in a review. Uh, but that's it. There's our assembly. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you all soon with a G.I. Joe toy review. Thank you all for your patience. Uh, doing the best I can to, you know, get back to making videos. And here's a start. Uh, this, this crazy, silly thing. Thanks, everyone, and I will see you next time.